I'm gonna start today a little bit differently. Usually I jump straight into what I'm gonna record. Today I'm gonna to start with my carry. This is the Northwoods Little Bay from um, GEC, Great Eastern Cutlery Builds Northwood Knives. This, is one, this one here is in burlap micarta. So that's what I'm carrying today. Now let's roll the credits and get started. All right, instead of doing a mail call every day, um, I received quite a bit of mail this week. I figured that I would just sum everything up and do more of a mail call summary. Um, I wasn't gonna do this at all actually, but somebody on my Instagram channel asked me was I gonna do a mail call video on the three packages that I received today. So I'm gonna show you everything that I received this week as just a kind of weekend summary. So first off, I received this here, this is a Prometheus Alpha pen in copper. And I had this pen before and got rid of it. The reason why I got rid of it was um, my body chemistry and the copper, it wouldn't keep its patina. Every time it would patina, I'd hold it, it would wipe off. Uh, also, as you can see here, this pen has the fine liner uh, cartridge by Mont Blanc and I found that when I had the fine liner cartridge I even found it with the one that's in here now when you hold the pen when you cap it the way it's designed I found that the ink ran down to the towards the base of the reservoir and it took a while to get the ink going so um, actually that leads me to my next mail call I picked up two of these Pacific Ball Roller Blue, roll, Pacific Blue Roller Ball Refills. So I'm switching over to the Roller Ball, which is kind of like a very nice smooth riding ballpoint pen. I had these before. I had them in, I can't remember the orange color, but it was a light orange, very nice color. And the only problem I had with that is this ink, at least the orange, was not um, water fast, meaning if you dripped, a, uh, if you put a drop of water on what you were writing or it got wet in the rain, it would just blur and, and smear. So I'm going to give it another try. I really missed this pen. I got an excellent deal on it. I couldn't pass it up. So this was, this pen was my first mail call and I bought these cartridges to go with it. I also bought some cartridges for my tie bolt which were also blue ink. I don't have those. I left them at work because I use my tie bolt pretty much every day. So that's where I would need to refill the pen. So that's where I left the refills. Uh, next would be my Spyderco Para 3. This is my first Para 3. This one here is a Sprint Run in Crew Wear. It's a very smooth knife. Uh, this is one of the smoothest knives that I've received from Spyderco out the box. The centering is dead on. I mean, I, I, it couldn't be better in my opinion. Um, very smooth knife, very fast knife. The only thing is, for me, I carry my knife. I always choke up if there's a finger choil. The handle is plenty long enough for me to put my hand on there, but my thumb, if you can see how cramped it is, so it feels a little bit better like this. If I grab it back here on the handle, now my pinky, it has a place to go. It has a full rest on the back of here, but it feels like it's running out of real estate. And I, this here, it's my palm. There's not enough for it to extend to the end of my palm, so it feels a little bit short. But then my thumb feels more natural. So I don't know. I'm still thinking on this one. Uh, it's definitely a nice knife. Definitely, I love the CQI. Uh, that's where Spartaco constantly improves the features of their knives, their models, the different, different models. And this one definitely has some nice features and some nice fit and finish. So that was my second mail call. Now, today I received, oh, I'll show you the box just in, just in case you were wondering what the model number is and everything. So you can see there, C223GPGYCW. Para 3, para 3 and Crew Wear. They're selling out extremely fast. Um, I didn't think anybody else was going to get any more, but apparently throughout today, there have been a few shops that have gotten them, but they've sold out pretty much instantly. So if you want one, you see one, you should buy it. Now on to the last two mail calls. This was something that I've been looking at for a while. Um, 
didn't pick up the last drop. I've been eyeing these probably for a couple of years. This is an LM M4 nail by, by uh, I was about to say Spyderco, by Strider. This is a last ditch effort tool. So you can see here, this is a piece of steel that comes down to a very, very, very fine point. This one here happens to be a Monkey Edge exclusive. So you can note the 3V. <clears throat> this one is a quarter of an inch thick, or actually slightly over. It's 0.255 inches thick. So it's a big slab of steel, but it's very pointy. It's nice and, and compact. This is something you can keep tucked away. Um, one of my buddies was asking me, you know, he sees these things. He doesn't really understand the purpose of them. Um, what, what's the deal with these nails? And I had to explain to him, or I did explain to him, I guess is a better way of saying it. This really, what the role that, the primary role it was intended for is like a, a military or law enforcement officer that needs that last ditch tool because they're putting their life on the line every single day. And they meet, may need something to defend their life in a last ditch effort. Uh, I, I feel as though this is something that could be an alternative to a fixed blade or something like an Emerson um, or, or maybe Mace or Taser, stun gun, something like that, Some or a full-on second pistol. I know some people just carry a second pistol, but if you're a concealed carry um, person, I think that you always need to have some kind of backup because if your gun jams, if the guy's already on you, if God forbid, you know, you're, you're, you're battling over your weapon or your weapon's knocked down, you, you, you're going to need a backup. You're going to need something to rely on. And I see this as that option, you know, a possible option. So this is the LM M4 nail by Strider. Um, and this one is a specific, specifically a um, limited run exclusive for Monkey Edge, which is a great place. If you haven't shot there, I'd check them out. Finally, everybody has one of these, it seems like. This one is the Natural Canvas, which I know everybody's been waiting for, a TC in some type of micarta. This one happens to be Natural Canvas micarta. This is the Blade Forms 2015 knife. It is a 15 pattern with a sheep's foot blade. Satin finish, nail nick, um, satin hard, satin bolsters, and hardware. Pretty nice knife. Um, it's a 15, so the pull is a little bit easier. I know some people were saying it was maybe a, a three, possibly. I don't know if it's a three. I would say it's a four, maybe a five. Um, I always like maybe a six or a seven, possibly a seven. But, you know, it's a nice little knife. Now, I'm not complaining. So those are my mail calls for the week. So I didn't think anybody was going to want to see all of this, but apparently you guys do. So if you do want to continue to see what I'm getting in the mail, which I know it's been a crazy hectic, uh, probably two or three weeks, I do have some more slip joints that I have on reserve. I have a couple other things that I plan on purchasing. They probably won't be coming in quite as frequently as they have been. But if you want to see the videos, when I do get something, comment below, let me know. Um, I just appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate growing the channel. And if you like it, please hit the like button. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.